guys, it's Ghost Project One One here with another episode of uh, Modding with Michael Forge. And I've got something on my computer screen, I don't know what. Oh, it's actually part of the app. <laughs> I feel stupid, okay. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so um, today, oh, Skype, leave that alone. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, uh, make a custom item, okay? We won't be covering textures, but just the basic base item, okay? The reason I'm not doing textures because they're all very, the method is all very similar for each one. So we're just going to cover how to do an item to start off with, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the main. And we're going to open our main menu, okay? We're not actually going to write anything in here yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click on um, the package, hit new, package. And instead of having the package called main, we're going to have the package called item. I'm going to hit finish, okay? And then I'm going to right click on that package, I'm going to hit new class and then I'm going to call it, I don't know, TM item. For those of you who don't know what uh, TM stands for, I used it in the last series, it's called tutorial, it stands for tutorial mod. What did I set my mod in this series actually? I'm going to cancel that second, I'm going to see what I set my mod ID to, yeah, I said it's TM. Okay, so new class TM item, like so. Hit finish, and then inside here, I'm going to create a few things. And I'll be right back because I want to set my preferences. And in fact, you can watch. Um, go to general. I'm just going to set my preferences because I like having like line numbers and things like that shown. But obviously, since we updated the uh, Forge version, which is not in here. Okay. Code style, formatter, new. Yeah. Not quite anything. So it's to line wrapping 800. Because that's the way we roll and comment. Okay. okay. So inside of class, um, inside of this class, the item class, we're going to create uh, a couple methods, okay? The first method we're going to create is the public, public, static, void, um, main, registry, okay? Inside that is basically where we're going to initialize everything, okay? So we just have it, rather than having multiple things written here, it's just going to be one line of code inside of here and all the complicated stuff's going to be inside of these classes. Okay? Then I'm going to create another method called public static static void um, initial... I'm going to Google how to spell initialize, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, yeah, I always have to Google that. Let me see if I'm recording. Yep. Okay. I always have to Google how to actually spell that word because I can never spell it. Uh, and then I'm going to go initialize item. Open brace and all that. I'm going to create one more method and we're going to call it public static void register item. Okay. Uh, once you've done that, we're actually going to um, copy and paste initialize item inside the main registry and same with the register item. Like so. But not into there, into here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is underneath the main registry I'm gonna type public In fact no we've got actually places in the main class first, okay. Then we're gonna go over to our main registry inside of the preload above proxy we're gonna type TM item dot main registry. Okay, so that basically just calls upon all the methods that we place in this class. Now we're actually going to get to the actual item part, okay? So we're going to go to public static um, item. So we're just going to create basic item. We're not actually going to create an, another class for this. Item, um, and we'll call it item, I don't know, tut item. Just like that. I'm going to hit control shift O to import item, net up my item. Okay, and then we're going to set tut item equal to new item brackets like that and we don't actually do an ID this time because the ID has been completely abbreviated in 1.7 um, I don't know why I guess it kind of makes that's kind of cool because there's no more messing around like oh this this and this but it changes the way we do a few things okay like when we call upon the block ID and things like that but anyway let's just get on with this okay so what we're going to do after item we're going to do dot um, set Unlocalized name, and then we're gonna call this 
uh, tut item, okay? This is very, very important, this unlocalized name in this version, okay? It's very important, because it's not for we don't use, we don't actually initialize the texture in here anymore. We actually do the set texture name, but we're not actually going to do this list, this episode, like I said. But, yes. We shall just continue what we're doing, okay? So the, uh, the unlocalized name, I figure out that in this version of the uh, Forge, it's quite important because we can use it in many ways. Okay. So obviously we want to register the thing. So we're going to go game registry. We actually have to register it in this version as well. So it's a little bit more complicated, but it's worth it. But when I say more complicated, it's just what, an extra line of code. But it minus is another line of code, which you'll see in a minute. So we're going to go game registry, register item, like so. And then we're just going to go um, tut item. So I'm just going to hit that. And then in name, I'm going to go tut item dot set uh, get, sorry, a localized name. Okay. So you notice that we are obviously going to add a name to it as well. So we're really have to do that as language registry, okay? But, well, sorry, we used to do like language registry, but you see if I type it, lan uh registry dot add name you see it's got a big massive line for like <clears throat> no we don't do it this way anymore okay the way i've come to do it it's i won't say it's more complicated but it's just a pain if that makes sense like, oh uh, one second guy okay and we're back um yeah sorry about that um but okay so the way we actually add names in this version is where i was about to tell you um is that we actually need to go to where if we've saved our um Wherever we've got our MCP workspace. So I'm going to go to my programming folder. I'm going to go to MCPs. I'm going to go to YouTube tutorials. I'm going to go to source. Uh, main. And then go to Java. And then we need to actually create a new folder. So what we do, we're going to hit right click. We're going to go new folder. And we're going to call this folder assets. Okay. It's probably a more efficient way to do it, uh, to do it than this. But this is the only way I have actually figured out. So I'm going to go to assets. I'm going to right click, uh, I'm going to go to new folder, I'm going to type lang, okay, that stands for language, okay, so I'm going to double click on there, I'm going to right click again, I'm going to go to new, and I'm going to go to new text document, okay, like so, and I'm going to call this te text document en underscore lang, underscore lang, I think it's spelled like that, uh, it, sorry, en underscore us is what I meant to say. So test document. Is it in US? I think it's like that anyway. And I'll, in fact, let me just double check. I've actually got an example. So if I just pause the video for a second, I'll be right back. Also, go and check my example inside of my actual mod. Here it is. Um, en underscore US. Oh, wrong folder. I'm in my actual backup. That's a backup mod that I was making. Okay, so I'm going back to YouTube so source main Java. Okay, assets lang. Okay, so I'm going to open up en US. I'm going to hit file, save as. And we're going to keep the name the same, but it's not going to be a text document. We're going to hit like that. I'm going to go to, into file name and do dot lang. Okay. So this last little bit, the dot lang actually goes for the folder uh, for the actual file type now. Okay. So everything else is ignored. So that the dot txt it's not going to be a dot txt. It's going to be a dot lang file. Okay. That's what Minecraft uses to um, have its names. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close close that off. I'm going to delete this enus. Okay. And you see, if we actually, uh, since we created that inside of our assets, we can actually go into our um, MCP now, uh, into our actual Eclipse now. And you see, inside of our assets.lang, we've got this folder here, en, um, en underscore us dot lang. Okay. And the way we've got to do this, we've got to type item, because that's what it is. We've just created an item. Dot, and then we've got to get the um, unlocalized name. So it's going to be tut item. Okay item dot tut item dot name there's no spaces in this at all you're not allowed any spaces it includes white character spaces for some odd reason it's going to be equal to a tutorial item okay there's no semicolon either it's just like that it just counts every single line okay so that's that we've actually added the name okay so believe it or not that's, that's it guys you're done okay so we're even going to add a creative tab, so I think, I don't know if it's a word, but we're going to hit set creative tab to creative tabs dot tab uh, misc, we'll have it in. 
but it is a Michelin swing. Okay, so I'm gonna run it. It's gonna run the. It's gonna run the file. It's gonna run through everything we've just made. And see, so we've got our mod loaded. We've got a tutorial mod. Single player, create new world, creative obviously. I'm gonna create that new world. So it's gonna create virtually instantly with this computer, hopefully. So you never speak too soon. Oh, there we are. Okay. Got a bit of a word loading thing there. Okay, so I'm just gonna escape video sense and turn the brightness up on this because it's ridiculous. Okay, there we are. Okay, and what we're going to do. Am I getting lag in this? Are you serious? Oh no, it's just VSync messing out. Okay, so if we go to our tab miss. Miscellaneous. We should have a pebble session here. Item dot Item dot name. That's not the agreement we had. Okay, so I'm gonna be right back once I fix figure out what I've done wrong. Okay, so I know I've gone wrong. Uh, I made a big mistake. Uh, we need to go back to our file, uh, our file where we had the added the lang thing. Okay, inside of our Java assets, we need to right click, hit new folder, and then I'm gonna type tm. Okay. The reason I wrote tm is to the sorry mod, and that is our modded ID. So you see, if we actually go into Eclipse, it's because it's in use. Okay, we just close that. Don't save. And then we can just close off Ian Lang inside of there. And we should be able to just click and drag it into there. Yay! Okay. So, you see that uh, we've actually inside TM. And the reason we use TM is because of our strings mod ID TM. Okay. So this makes things a lot easier later if you use the same thing. Okay. Now let's run the game again because I mean, that's where I went wrong. So I'm going to run the client. Yada, yada, yada. I'm going to go into single player. Uh, new world, and you see we actually have tutorial item now. Okay, <laughs> it's the right name now. Okay, you see it has no texture because we didn't give it texture. But um, yep. So we've got our item, which is amazing. What sort of music is this? No, it's the new uh, it's the new uh, C is it C B C something fourteen? Oh, no, I can't remember his name. But anyway, yeah. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, this is how to create uh, your own item. Thanks for watching guys, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye! Thank you for this nice one. That's what I aspire. Sorry, that's it.